Hello everyone. Thanks for watching my presentation. I'm Han Xin Wu, a PhD student in National Taiwan University. Today I'm gonna talk about my latest paper, Defense Against Adversarial Attacks on Spoofing Countermeasures of Automatic Speaker Verification. This is the outline today. Today's presentation is divided into five parts motivation, adversarial attacks, defense, experiments, and the conclusion. Let's look at the motivation. Automatic speaker verification, shouted as ASV, is of great importance for biometric identification, and a great number of ASV systems have been proposed. Most of them are with high performance. However, high performance ASV systems may still be deceived by spoofing audios, such as audios generated by audio replay, text to speech, or voice conversion. We also need strategies to filter the spoofing audios. So, we need anti spoofing models. The anti spoofing model is a protector for ASV systems. It protects the ASV systems by identifying the spoofing audios and then blocking them. For example, if the audio is a piece of spoofing audio generated by voice conversion, the anti-spoofing model will label it spoofing and block it. Well, if the input is a piece of user's audio, the anti-spoofing model will label it non-spoofing and allow the audio to pass to the ASV system. In the ASV Spoof 2019 challenge, many high-performance anti-spoofing models have been proposed. However, previous works show that high-performance anti-spoofing models are subject to adversarial attacks. Let me introduce what is adversarial attack. Here, suppose X is a piece of spoofing audio. The anti-spoofing model will label it spoofing and block it. However, if some attackers can generate a text signal delta and add it to the original audio X to generate adversarial example X delta, Remark that the noise delta is carefully designed such that the modified audio X delta is indistinguishable from the original audio X by human ears, but the classification results will be different. X delta will make the anti spoofing model strongly predict non spoofing and expose the SV system to the attackers. This phenomenon will cause some security problems, so we want to address the vulnerability of anti-spoofing models to adversarial attacks and the device defense methods. Now, I'd like to move on to the second part of the presentation, adversarial attack. First. I would like to show you how to find adversarial examples. Look at what we have. We have the original example X, anti-spoofing model F, parameter by theta. We want to find the attack signal delta to generate an adversarial example X delta to make the prediction of Fx and Fx delta as different as possible. How to do it? Just like training a neural network, but we optimize the input x rather than network parameter theta. Specifically, we fix the model parameters, then we do gradient descent to find a suitable delta to fulfill this equation. Our objective is to make the prediction fx delta as different as possible to fx. Also, we want x delta to be as similar as x, 
so that human cannot tell the difference between them. So delta, the noise, shouldn't be too large. In this paper, we constrain the searching space for delta in a small infinity norm. Then I'd like to talk about the attack method. In this paper, we use the projective gradient descent (PGD) as an attack method. Our objective is to find x star, fulfill this equation, and we use PGD. PGD is an iterative method. In PGD, we start from input x0, which equals to the original example x. Then it is iteratively updated at this equation. In each iteration, we take the gradient of d function with respect to x. Stem function simply takes the sign of the gradient. Then we multiply it by alpha. Then we add it to xk. Finally, we use the clip function to project this term back into the searching space we defined before. Let's move on to defend methods. The first one, spatial smoothing. Many people also call it filter. And the several example is composed of the original audio and the dangerous attack signal before putting adversarial example into the anti-spoofing model. Firstly, we put it into a filter in order to let the attack signal become less harmful, but without influencing the classification result of the original audio. There are lots of filters. In this work, mean filter, Gaussian filter, and median filter are used. Then, how can we do filter? Look at this spectrogram. Take a 3x3 three three mean filter as an example. When we do filter to the spectrogram, a 3x3 three three slicing window moves over the spectrogram, and the central value in the window will be replaced by the mean of the values in the slicing window. Different filters result in different ways to calculate the central value. Mean filter uses the mean. Gaussian filter uses the least equation. Mean median filter uses the median. The second defense method is adversarial training. The basic idea of adversarial training is to find and fix the blind spots of the anti-spoofing model. Given the training data, we first train the anti-spoofing model, and then we do the two steps iteratively. Step 1, find the blind spots. Given the anti-spoofing model and uh, the original data, we use PGD to generate adversarial examples. Step 2, fix the blind spots. We have the adversarial examples. Then we use both the original example and the adversarial examples to retrain the anti-spoofing model. Then we do step 1 and step 2 iteratively until converge. Let's get into the ex experiment part. For the data set, we use the LA partition in ASV spoof 2019. The data set contains fake audios generated by TTS and VC models. The LA partition is itself divided into evaluation, development, and training set. We directly follow the partition. Two different anti-spoofing models are used, SENET and VGG. We just simply borrowed the model structures from previous papers. So if you are interested in more details about the two models, you can read their papers. The attack method we use is PGD. Two defense methods, including spatial smoothing and adversarial training, are used. Now let's get into the defense performance. The numbers in the table are testing accuracy of SENET. According to the table, SENET achieves high performance in 
in the original examples. However, when we test the model to adversarial examples, the testing accuracy drops drastically, so the SE net is subject to adversarial attack. Let's look at the spectrogram of the original example and the adversarial example. From human's eye, it is indistinguishable. We also did subjective listening test. The result is that the listeners cannot tell the difference, difference between adversarial examples and the original examples. Look at this column. When we first lay to filter to the adversarial examples before evaluating the testing accuracy, there is a great increase in testing accuracy. All three kinds of filters help improve the robustness of anti-spoofing models. And we can see the improvement of Gaussian filter is less, is, is less than the other two filters. Comparing this row, before adversarial training, the testing accuracy for adversarial example is below 50%. After adversarial training, it increases to over 90%. So adversarial training improves the robustness of anti-spoofing models. Look at this column. Only use adversarial training, the testing accuracy is 92.4%. Adding median filter or mean filter helps increase, it, increase the testing accuracy. However, adding Gaussian filter decreases the testing accuracy. In our experiment setting, median filter and mean filter are more desirable filters than Gaussian filter. This is the testing accuracy for VGG. We can see a similar phenomenon for VGG compared with SENET. Then the conclusion, both adversarial training and the spatial smoothing can make the anti-spoofing models robust enough to counter adversarial attacks. And I think more defense methods should be adopted to improve the robustness of anti-spoofing models. That's all I have. Thanks for listening.